Hi guys, it's me Eileen at Crafty Lini. Uh, welcome back if you are returning, yay! And if you are new, welcome for joining us. I hope you subscribe and like what I do. Give me a thumbs up. Um, oh yeah, if you subscribe, hit that bell and it'll let you know whenever I upload a new video. Uh, today I'm doing something a little different. I am going to make a zombie, attempt to make a, a I keep saying zombie, it's a voodoo pumpkin head. Yeah, voodoo pumpkin head. I had a special request to make one of those. Uh, my son Jacob wants me to make him a voodoo pumpkin head. Uh, you know, young, 19. He wanted it for his bedroom for Halloween. I don't know. So uh, I thought, huh. Well, I attempt to make this, why don't I film it and share it with you guys? And if you like it, you guys can make one too. I think that's pretty cool. Win-win situation, right? Uh, yeah. I'm wearing my sun hat today. I'm going to go see my grandson's football ceremony this afternoon, this evening. And uh, I'm really excited. Football. Yeah, I'm a big football fan. My family. Yes, Rams. Rams. Los Santos Rams fan. Been a Rams fan forever. I'm just sharing that. Because I love Rams, I love football, but uh, and I'm wearing, of course, from the Dollar Tree, my ribbon. See my pink ribbon? How pretty! I'm wearing pink. It's August. Uh, it's my sister's birthday month, and uh, my we lost my I lost my sister uh, a couple of years ago uh, to breast cancer. Uh, I said I wasn't gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Because this is important to say for me. In honor of her, I'm wearing my pink ribbon. I wear pink in August. I try to put pink on somewhere. Uh, so she had a beautiful smile. She could be a brat. <laughs> uh, but I miss her dearly. Miss her very, very much. More than words could ever say. Um, so... I just wanted to let you guys know that it's important to go get, which you guys probably hear all the time, but it, it's important for me to say it. Uh, go get checked, your checkups, ladies. It's really important. If it's not for you, it's for somebody you love. Go get checks. Go get checkups. Uh, sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied. Um, uh, you know what? She would be really proud of me. I know she would. She would be saying, you know what, you're finally doing it, Eileen. You got got the guts enough to get on there and show people what you can do. <laughs> That's how she was. But thank you for joining me today and hearing me. Didn't mean to make this a ramble on. Uh, but thank you. Okay? Let's make something. Let's get our glue guns out and make something. Okay? Hope you guys have a good one. Thank you for dropping in. Okay, you're going to need your glue gun, glue sticks, Mod Podge, white chalk Waverly paint, and your Waverly mineral paint, two sponge brushes, one paint, black paint pan, sorry about that, apple barrel acrylic paint, purple, harvest orange, green, and melted chocolate, something to put your paint in Mod Podge on. One carvable pumpkin, one skull stand from the Dollar Tree, scissors, hoe puncher, one black sharpie marker, one large googly eye, you can get variety pack at Dollar Tree, three rock candy sticks, and one sheet, foam sheet. You need a pipe cleaner, a lighter, and one rope from Walmart. Or you can use the Dollar Tree twine. Something to cut your pumpkin, leaves from a flower bush, and I don't know what you call that, a floral wire. <laughs> We're going to first remove our stem from our pumpkin and start painting it with the white Waverly chalk paint. I get my Waverly chalk paint from Walmart.
You guys do half the pumpkin. Now we're gonna get the mineral chalk Waverly paint, also from Walmart, and we do the other half of the pumpkin. Sorry guys, I think I'm feeling a little off today. <laughs> See, we're just doing the other half. And there we have it. Now we're going to trace our large googly eye on our foam sheet, onto the foam sheet, and we're gonna cut it out. We're gonna make button eyes, buttons. And put aside from your scraps, put aside a, your rectangle scrap. And now we're cutting the eyes out. And we're gonna cut a little strip off that. See, we're gonna use our scraps. That's my puppy dog's name, Scraps. gonna get our hole puncher and put four holes see we're making buttons button eyes I got this inspiration from Coraline I love Coraline I love it love it love it I like Paranorman too I like that I wonder if you guys like that let me know if you like those kind of movies sorry I didn't show that part huh I I, I was looking for I lost that somewhere sorry about that but you'll see when we do the purple button how I did that we're gonna put this purple button aside and let it dry yes I know I got paint all over my hands but I'm a crafty lady and not afraid of paint now we're getting our scraps and we're making our bow tie You just squeeze it in the middle and wrap that around put a dab of glue in the back a dab a dab of glue and there we go our bow tie put that aside we're grabbing our pumpkin stem and we're painting it now with the apple barrel melted chocolate acrylic paint also from Walmart I tell you I get everything from Walmart or Dollar Tree or sometimes a 99 cent store. I love those three places. Now we're getting our black paint pen, which I love. Got this at Walmart. And we're making, we just trace the outer sides of the button and then we go right out of the four holes and make a circle around them and we had our button, see? There's our button, we got a button. So now we're gonna carve our pumpkin and you'll see on the top of your pumpkin you'll have like already a circle on the pumpkin on the top but we're gonna carve it just a little bit on the outer of that circle that's already on the pumpkin. And I forgot to say sandpaper. You don't have to, but I did. And oh my goodness, was this a mess. So make sure you do it outside or put paper down because it is messy. Very messy. Now we're going to use our Sharpie black marker. And we're going to make a mouth for our voodoo pumpkin. You don't have to make the mouth exactly like what I'm doing. You could do any way you want. This is your voodoo pumpkin. And what do I always say? This is your signature. You make it the way you want to. And don't be afraid to make it. I messed up a little bit and you can always go over it with some paint. <laughs> Everything's fixable with paint. <laughs> See that? I had to fix my center because my mouth wasn't centered so I had to fix it and I fixed it with paint <laughs> so 
see? Put that aside, let it dry. And we're gonna burn this rope here, careful. Burning the wild hairs on it. The wild hairs off this rope, we're burning. And we're gonna string our buttons. One of them, the purple one, I did it crisscross. Crisscross style button. And I trim it and turn it around, trim it, and then I put a dab of glue in the center of the back of the button. Turn it around the back of the button. Put a dab of glue in the center and fold my string right on top of it and pinch it really tight. Careful, because it is hot. And you pinch it and it should stay. There you go, see? See how I trimmed it? And then you'll see me put some glue. There's my dabba dabba glue. I like Scooby Doo. I'm always telling you guys what I like. You guys, let me know what you guys like. If I know what you guys like, I I can make some something to what you like. Let me know what you guys like. I'm here for you too. I always think you guys are here for me, but I'm here for you. Let me know what you like and I'll try to make something. If you like something for Halloween weird or something whimsical, just let me know. I am truly interested. Now we're, I just got water, added it to some of my melted chocolate acrylic brown paint and I'm just like putting some of that on the pumpkin, the lid of the top of the pumpkin and my pumpkin and just to make it look, you know, I wanted to look dingy. Is that what you call it? Dingy? Creepy? Dingy? It's a happy, dingy voodoo pumpkin head. Oh no. I think it's really really neat put that aside let it dry I'm here rambling on and here we have our rock candy stick I melt them in my coffee and you clean them wash them really good let them dry and then you paint them with the also the brown melted chocolate acrylic paint apple barrel paint I'm just gonna say with the brown paint now you guys got what I what I'm using already, right? You get it. You get what I'm using. So I just paint it brown. All three sticks. And now I'm just getting the Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just making little lines on the stem just to give it some character. Putting some Mod Podge now on my sticks so I can let them dry. them aside bring back my pumpkin and now I'm carving the mouth out I don't go all the way that's why I put some darker the black darker thicker because I only took out the middle center so you can still see the grin of the pumpkin can you see that I hope I didn't speed it up too quick now my orange harvest acrylic paint I'm using and I'm painting the inner side of the mouth because I want it to look like it, it so you can see the pumpkin in it you know like ooh, the pumpkin mouth and then I just dry brush the outside with the the orange also and I just dry brush it all around there and then I get some of that liquefied brown water and brown paint and I mix it all in and just go and to whatever you like I mean it's so hard because you tell people oh I did this but you don't everything when you make it yourself it everything comes out different that's what's so unique about making things yourself you just outline it with paint paint pen 
the mouth, and now I am deco or mod podging, mod podging my stem, and now mod podging the lid of my pumpkin, which I did paint orange on the outer of the pumpkin to the pumpkin lid on the sides of them. Now I'm burning some more of that rope, all those wild hairs, and now I'm gonna use one of those rock candy sticks to poke the holes to thread my string through. And you just, you know, I used a piece of the pipe cleaner, like a needle. I would twist it onto the end of the rope and then just bring it on through. If you use thinner twine, you probably would be able to just thread it really easy through. So maybe try to use a thinner rope, the twine at Dollar Tree or uh, at Walmart. They have thinner twine and use that. It might be a lot easier and you won't need the pipe cleaner. Or if you want to use the thicker rope, I didn't think about it until now. I do that. You'll notice I do that a lot. Um, I should have put some masking tape or some tape on the ends, and I could have just used that and threaded it through really easy. I just put the glue gun in there, put a drop of glue, and then would trim the string and just press on the inside anywhere. It doesn't have to look fancy and pretty on the inside because you won't see it. You're gonna fold your strings and glue them on the inner side of the pumpkin or you won't be able to see it yeah I had a heck of a time with that uh, pipe cleaner bending I had to keep pulling it off and straightening it back up so I was thinking maybe I should have put some masking tape or even scotch tape and put it around the edge just like a shoestring you know and just that would have been easier to string it on through so try that and I bet you'll just fly through this part because all you're doing is just basically sewing the mouth shut and I did some crisscrosses and I did some straight lines on the mouth and I did it in the center like where a nose should be I put a, some stitching there And I love Halloween. My handsome devil and I got married October 28th. And we had a Halloween gothic wedding. Oh, so neat. And I just, I loved it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> we both are Halloween fanatics. Yeah. Anything gothic Halloween is just so cool. Just sew the mouth and glue it. Just keep going all the way through. Just so however you like to sew it. You might want more strings. You might want it crisscross all the way, X's all the way down, however you want to do your your uh, voodoo pumpkin's mouth, go for it. See? That's one side, and then I do the other side. It's coming together. And I got my black paint marker and I just drew my line all the way in the center in the back and the center in the back and the center in the front of the face and I just went down the line 
and now I'm dry brushing some white white paint the chalk paint I'm just dry brushing it all around just to give it some what do I call it Oomph. <laughs> Oomph. some life so now we're back to the stem and we're gonna take those leaves off the the branch of one of those leaf bushes and we just push it on through the toothpick and glue it back on there you go there's that floral wire it's kind of thick got the sharpie pin and just wrapped it around just so it looks like a little coil that's option you can use a brown pipe cleaner or you don't have to use anything you just put the top with the leaves but I like the little coil the pumpkin coil I have like a little curl a little curl I made two holes on the side of the pumpkin one on the lid of the pumpkin and I just made like a little stitching in there a V stitching so it stays cricket I wanted it to stay cricket in and out and I just glued the top cricket so you can see the orange on the sides now I got the little button eyes and I put some glue in the center and just pressed it on to the front on each side give it some eyes see that and now I'm gluing my sticks I'm gonna just those sticks are so easy you just pop them on in they go right in as you can see I was using them to put the holes for the string and I didn't put them all the same length I just put them all three different lengths so it looks like the pins are all different stuck in differently different what different heights is that how you say it heights I don't know I just put them in uneven and now I'm doing Mod Podge on the whole pumpkin except the leaves and the coil I on the I didn't put it on that I just put on everything and I was generous about it look at that and it helps thicken the string which was nice when it dries it dries real hard and I just Mod Podge the whole thing see how I lifted the leaves up I know I mod podged already the top but I did it all the whole thing again the stems or it should have already been mod podged but the face the mouth I got my fingers in it put some mod podge within the mouth and spread it with my fingers between the string and around the string I'm telling you I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty but I'm crafting and I'm crafting it's like no limits I'm just I'm in there I wanted the leaf to stay it a certain way so I just glued it down a certain way I'm gonna pop that skull head right off I got that at the Dollar Tree poke a hole with your scissors on the bottom of your pumpkin see that put some glue there and just press and I held it cricket because you know me I like to put the little head cricket I don't like it just straight I wanted it cricket now we're gonna glue that bow tie right onto our stand just below our pumpkin head and there look at that <gasps> oh, I'm so I'm, I have to say I, I don't know I loved it I love these things they remind me of corn oh I got one of these cups and I put a candle one of those little candles in there and that was my girl pump